Kagadosh Bokato, Shavuot Tov, we're continuing with Alachot of Alakat Nerot. We were speaking about exactly when does a woman accept upon herself Shabbat when she lights the candles. We know that there's actually a different minagim to do with when do you make the bracha. There's actually a machlok in Maram Verama, right? That according to Shitab Maran, the way that you're supposed to do it is you first make the bracha and then you're going to light the candles. And according to the Rama, you're first going to light the candles and then make the bracha. If you do remember that there was different minagim back and forth, but Rav David Yosef, when he came here to Miami, he actually said that those that have the minhad to do that first like the Rama, they're allowed to continue that minhad. They do not have to do, they don't have to change their minhad. Here, the question now starts is, what happens if a woman forgot to light, to say the bracha of the lighting of the candles? Obviously, it's not going to be me'akev, right? Because we know that the bracha is not the actual mitzvah. The mitzvah is the actual lighting of the candles. However, though, what happens if a woman forgot? So according to Shittat Shulchan Aruch, or the ones that they have the minhad to do beforehand, so therefore they can't do it anymore. Because if the entire concept is that it has to be ovele siyatan, which means that you first have to come and make the bracha, and then you're going to light the candles. So if right now you lit the candles, you forgot to make the bracha, you remembered afterwards, that's it, there's nothing what to do, you cannot make a bracha anymore. Here he does bring down that there is one way to get out of it, that if you're in the middle of lighting the candles, which means that right now, what happens if you started, Let's say you lit one candle, and then you remember one second, but I didn't make a bracha. So then, even according to the Sfaradim, he says what you would be able to do is stop, make the bracha, and then you would continue lighting right the rest of your Shabbat candles. That's one way that Rav David Yosef brings down. But however, though, what happens for the minhad if you're going to make the bracha afterwards? So he does say that b'diavad. Obviously, this is a b'diavad case. Was lechatrichila. You're not supposed to come and light the candles and then just go away. He brings down a magen of Raham. The magen of Raham is brought down in the in the Mishnah Bura. That what happens right now if a woman wants to light early and she wants to go to a chupa? Sometimes they used to go and make a wedding on Erev Shabbat and then use the suda of the wedding as also the Shabbat Chatan. It was basically going to be the, la- the Friday night dinner. And then when it comes to Shikiah, right before Shikiah, she's going to come cover eyes and make the bracha. So says him again, Abraham, one second. She's doing so. How is she making a bracha on something which is already lit? How does she do such a thing? However, though, Bidiyavad, they do bring down that it does happen that if she comes and she covers her eyes again, that was the entire concept of covering the eyes, and therefore you're not benefiting from the candles until afterwards, and then she would be able to make the bracha. So based upon that halakha, it's actually brought down here, that according to Min Hagash Kenazim, Bidiyavad, if a woman does forget, right, to come and make the bracha on Halakat Nerot, and now she realizes afterwards that she did not make the bracha, she could still make the bracha as long as it's before the shikiyah. As long as it's before the sunset, you're allowed to come and make another bracha, or another, meaning you're allowed to make the bracha even though you forgot previously.